I'm shooting a quick video here to show you how to convert an Ether 2 or 3 electronic trigger frame to an EMEC mechanical frame. You obviously need a complete EMEC frame to do this. Uh, this one happens to have uh, the stock trigger retention plate up top with the safety, inception trigger, inception secret pin inside of an FL three-way valve, and of course you'll need the stock trigger pin as well that actuates the three-way valve. These screws and nuts are just here to hold that trigger pin in place and the three-way valve while the frame is not attached to the body. Also inside here is an EMEC air transfer tube. The EMEC air transfer tube is slightly shorter than the ether uh, tube is, so you will need that as well. So this is a complete EMEC mechanical frame. This is a working ether tube. Turn it on and show you it's working. Eyes are working. You can see this here. Gas it up. That does not shoot. Turn the eyes off. Gun shoots fine. Degas it. Turn the gun off. Remove the body from the frame. Stop by breaking the frame screws loose. Once the frame screws are off, you can separate the body from the frame. You do need the solenoid gasket. Keep that. Uh, now we can remove the ASA and regulator. Let's break these screws free. And you can spin them off after that. So free, you can remove the regulator and the ASA. Keep, again, the ether air transfer tube installed because you need the one for the EMEC. After that, you can remove the grips and the pin, well, the pin I'll leave in for now. You need the front grips. You will need these nuts as well, so keep those. Uh, and you will need these pins, but keep them in for now. Then all you need to do is grab your EMEC body, install the gasket on the FL three-way valve, like so. Make sure it's flat and in place, like that. Grab the body, install the body, like so. cinch these down. Not overly tight, but they need to be tight enough to seal against the body. Okay. Once that's done, you can install the nuts for the ASA, one on each side. You might want to hold them in place so they don't fall out as you're doing this. Install the regulator in the ASA. And again, I already have the air transfer tube installed. So I'll thread that on. Snug these down, both sides evenly, and then you can tighten them up from there. Okay. Snug. Snug. One more time. Nice and tight. Okay, now that that's done, you can prepare to remove these nuts and screws. Take the pins out of the Ether 2 body or Ether 3. Push them out from the thin side. This one. Push them out. And hold this upright while you're doing this to prevent the trigger pin from falling out of place. Again, I'm using these nuts and screws. You can come up with something different. Just what I came up with. Once those are out, just push them out. And then take the pins and push them in from this side. Like so. Oh, 
There we go. So once those are in place, you can then reinstall the grips. are on, turn the ASA off, put this aside, and that's all there is to it. Install the tank, gas it up, no leaks, safety still works, no trigger, and gun shoots. That's how you convert an Ether 2 over to mechanical using an EMAC frame.